Before we begin, I encourage you all to like and subscribe, as your support is really appreciated. I also recommend you check out the BCA for any local pool leagues in your area. And also check out Inside Pool Magazine, as they have some great billiard content. And lastly, visit jflowerscues.com for some great products at great prices. Now on to the video. To win a free pool cue, go to my YouTube channel. Then simply subscribe, like, and share. That's it. Good luck. Philly Fingers here, playing snooker on a pool table. To start, we're simply going to replace the snooker balls with our pool balls. And we're going to do this based on color. As for the reds, we're going to use our stripes to represent the reds. Since we don't have enough stripes to equal the amount of reds that we would need, this will simply be a shorter race with a max score of 75. And now we just play snooker as usual with the stripes being one point, the yellow two, the green three, the brown four, the blue five, the purple will be six, and the black is always worth seven. The object of the game is always the same. You make a stripe first and then a colored ball. Once you pocket a colored ball, you'll bring it back up and spot it until all the stripes are gone. Once all the stripes are gone, you'll just pocket the remaining balls based on their value. Starting with the yellow, then the green, the brown, the blue, the purple, and finally the black. Here you see after I make a stripe, I'm always playing position for the black because I want to get a max score. I'm trying to maximize the most points possible. But you don't have to. You could always hit a stripe and then play position for any of the other colors. And if you feel that this game is going too quickly and you want to play a longer match where you can have a max score of 147 like in traditional snooker and you have access to another rack of balls, you can use those extra stripes to replace the 15 reds that are actually needed in a traditional game. As I spot the black, with no other stripes on the table, it's now time to just clear the remaining balls based on their value. It's almost like you're playing a game of nine ball. And why do this? Why play snooker on a pool table? Well, for the simple reason of, I just don't have access to a snooker table right now. And for those of us who love snooker and love the game, love the strategy of it, but we just don't have access to an actual snooker table, this is the best alternative that I could come up with. As I pocket the final black, that gives me 75 points for a max score and ends the game. Now in case keeping track of the score based on colors is difficult, because the pool balls have different number values than a snooker ball does, another option is to substitute the balls based on their numbers. And this is what it would look like here. And this might make it a lot easier for you to keep score. For example, when you pocket the two, you know you're getting two points, and so on. I also suggest that you start the game with a safety break, just like in real snooker. Bring the cue ball back to the head rail and snooker your opponent behind the two, three, and four ball. This eliminates any type of kick that they can make. At best, they could attempt a three rail kick, but that's just gonna make contact with the pile and leave you in a good position. In short, you wanna mimic whatever you would've done when playing real snooker, right? You wanna keep the game as close to realistic as possible. And that's how I like to play snooker on a pool table. Till next time. <laughs> 